Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for another tournament video. This time we're kicking off the first round of Group D matches. In this my video we will see Darius go up against DBW's Original Gangsters, Toka Nightmare against Chompstan, and Team Africa against Nopi. And without further ado, let's begin. Alrighty then, at first we have Darius in the red corner with a Lex over swords. One of two Lexosaurus in this tournament, and they both happen to be in Group B. But this Lexosaurus is quite the attacking type. Wow, look at I would be curious to know how much crit damage Lexosaurus does. I mean, it doesn't say on this Gekazan first card, but it does say on this Captain 6 card, but I don't have that card, so... And there's no picture of it in the back. Anyway, as for DBW's original gangsters, we have the T-Rex. And yeah, no surprise to see him put Blazing Spin on for his crit move because his crit move doesn't last for the damage. So it could come down who gets a critical move off. Okay, that is a scissors for Lexobasaurus. And that is also a scissors for T-Rex. And we start this match off with a tap, which means the Quake Saber is going to get tripped. Oh, hang on, now I need being slow. Okay, that's rock. And that's also rock. <laughs> Almost messed it up there. Okay, that's two. And that's also two. Oh wow, another time. Nothing to separate them so far. But the Lexovasaurus does get off the first hit. But again, because his crit does so much damage, his other two moves are very weak. Ooh, the Laxovasaurus though does get off another hit. And Darius is on top so far. And I think that's attack boost. Uh yeah, that is attack boost. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, and the T-Rex is going down. Although, he did wear Laxovasaurus down to half his feet. So. It could be easy pickings for this Lambda Source, which will have the type advantage over Lex of the Source. All grass moves as well. Um, just quite a basic move set, you know, you've got the standard grass moves of Metal Rain, Bigfoot Assault, and then Nature's Blessing could come in handy. But I, I suspect this Lambda Source will finish Lex of the Source. While DBW Original Gangsters is, is behind, he could probably catch up in one game. But he does need to get a hit for it. And wow, look at that. I think this Lambiosaurus is charge type. Ooh, this will be interesting. But like how much damage will this crit do? Because it is a powerful crit, but it is at a disadvantage, this left of the sword. It could still do a decent amount of damage. Oh my goodness! Okay, I'm sorry, I did not expect that. I mean, bloody hell, that's, a, that's at a disadvantage as well, so. Day I say it, on a level playing field, that would have been good news for Lambia Swords. And Lex over Swords is looking really good. Oh my god, he killed Lambia Swords? Wow, DBW Original Gangsters is falling apart. Okay, up next, well, well lastly for DBW, we have the Kaki Cephalosaurus. And well, he's gonna have his work cut out here, while it does have all secret moves. As I just said, it's gonna have to pull his finger out if it want if DBW has any chance of winning. <laughs> Get my words out again. But this Lex Oversaurus is looking quite strong. Oh, that's a time that should be mark the end of Lex Oversaurus's rampage. But it killed two of DBW original gangsters, dinosaurs, so it definitely did its work. Anyway, up next for Darius, we have the Strepto Spondless. An odd dinosaur, but it's good to see some... It's good to see some diversity in this tournament. You know, I don't want the same dinosaurs over and over, it gets boring. But yeah, this Strepto Spondless could be problematic. It does have the dodging ability for Dino Illusion and Cyclone, and Dino Slim is just dying. Ooh, the Pappy Cephalosaurus gets off the first hit. In fact, I think that's DBW's first actual hit. 
in the whole match. I mean, the only reason Left Silver Sword has died was because of Tie Spam. Ooh, another hit from the Pappy Zephyrosaurus. The Strapless Bumbleus is protected by Dino Illusion, so no damage will be dealt. Ooh, that's a big crit from the new Strapless Bumbleus. Uh, I'm not sure what battle happens. I think it's Crisis. Ooh, a Cyclone as well. The strength and Darius' grip on this match. Well, he has quite a big grip already, but all the secret moves from the Pachycephalosaurus have been triggered. Oh, but then they struck this bombless. Is Darius going to get a bonus point win? Oh my, wow. Wow, you can see the type advantage on secret dinosaurs is quite big, so it's tiny like that. So honestly, I don't think Darius will get a bonus point here, because the Pachycephalosaurus has a huge type advantage. Ooh, and I think this will kill you, Streptospondus. A laser ray attack from the Pappy Cephalosaur. And give DBW some credit, because he has turned this match around. But at third for Darius, we have an Ampelosaurus. And this Ampelosaurus is quite interesting because it's a tie recovery type, and it has the tie attack synergy. Uh, light recovery could also be a problem for DBW. May mean it needs to get more hits off than normal. And Aqua Whip is Aqua Whip, not much to say there. Um, well, I'd say Darius still has the slight leg edge, but the secret moves are still triggered and they stay triggered. So DBW does, can still snap this win. Ooh, an Aqua Whip from the Amplosaurus and a bit of glitching from the music. Ooh, the Patty Cephalosaurus though cannot afford another hit. Oh, that is game over for DBW. Our Darius' third dinosaur, the Ampelosaurus, comes in and finishes off Pachycephalosaurus with two Aqua Whips. And yeah, that's probably a deserved win for Darius. I mean, the Lexovasaurus did all the damage, but and I used Streptospondylus did okay, and then Ampelosaurus just finished up. But yeah, a good win for Darius, but I, I did think that DBW was going to turn it around. Especially when the Pachycephalosaurus had all the secret moves. Anyway, I'll update the table and we'll move on to our next matchup. Alrighty then, it's not music a bit for some reason, but oh well. Up first for Toka, we have a Lexovasaurus. Yet another one. Oh, that's interesting. Doesn't have as much power as the first one. Anyway, in the blue corner for Chomp Stand, we have a Uteraptor. Uh, not as many in this tournament as in were before, but always, a lot of people always seem to like the Uteraptor, so here we go. Um, yeah, it's pretty much a similar moveset to mine, with the Cyclone and Dino Illusion for Dodgage. And well, he's gone with Tornado Toss instead of Mayfly. And yes, I got my notebooks out because Toka has a Super Dinosaur, and I need to remember which turn he wants to attack to take the Pokemon from. Ooh, not a good start for Toka. A tornado toss from the Uteraptor. Throwing the Laxovasaurus in the sky and killing it instantly. <laughs> well, it should kill it instantly. Look how far he's going. Ooh, look at that damage. A decent amount of damage done by the Uteraptor. And a strong start from Chomp Snap. But, do not count out Toka yet. Well, this is the first round. You can't count anything out. <laughs> Oh, that's a tie. Oh, the tie defense type effect there from the Lexovasaurus. Stopping it taking damage. But it's not going to stop the Uteraptor again another hit. And finishing off Lexovasaurus. Well, that's quick, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I wouldn't count out Toka yet because up next we have the Super Eucentrosaurus. Quite a decent dinosaur here. One of quite a few biking dinosaurs in this tournament. Uh, counter Blitz and Plasma Anchor always a problem, but Thunder Bazooka there for the damage. But Toka really needs to strike back here against this Uteraptor, because Chompstan is well on top early on. Okay, we'll see if we can three times. Oh, another time. 
the only way Toka seems to do damage at the minute. Although it is working, the new tractor is losing health. <laughs> Another dive idea. But the Centrosaurus is getting worn down. Ooh, finally Toka strikes back with his first attack of the match. Not doing too much damage to the Uteraptor and triggering the Dino Illusion. Fuck it off once. Ooh, a tie is very good for Toka as it will kill the Uteraptor and get around that Dino Illusion. And it will drop Chompstand down to his second dinosaur, Kakira Dontosaurus. Do not underestimate the strength of this jolly green giant as its crit does pack a punch, and I think his defense type as well, so he'd be quite hard to break down. What's with a sound <laughs> Not very good, is it? But oh well. We must press on! Ooh, Kakura Dumpasaurus gets the first head. Ooh, this... Well, this won't... This shouldn't be lethal, but Volcano Burst will leave you Centrosaurus' health. Oh, right in the sliver. One more turn to the Waker mode. So, Centrosaurus, if he does get ahead, next turn, it'll be Awakening time. And he's not going to get Awakening mode because the Centrosaurus is going to die to inner tie. But, here's the real MVP for Token in the form of the Eocarcaria, the armored version. This brute of a beast pretty much has Goma's moveset, except for instead of Burning Dash, we have Volcano Boost. I probably would have preferred Burning Dash, just, just to add a bit more oomph to Eocarcaria's strength. Although I know what a moveset I would have for, um, for Armored Eocarcaria, but I'm going to keep it to myself. No, I would probably have something like Magma Blaster for Rock. Um, recovery, well, Recovery, because I love Recovery. And um, Flare Sword. The Eocarcaria starting strong with a crit, but no Flare Sword or Volcano Burst. Why, why is the music glitch? Not usually. Do I? Oh well. Ooh, the Tachyodontosaurus coming in with a light recovery. Uh, Toka's in a bit of trouble here, but again, this Omega Armor Eocarcaria is capable of turning it around. Ooh, that's another crit from the Eocarcaria. Slowly filling up that bar and dropping the Tachyodontosaurus' health down low. Ooh, the Kakaradontosaurus though, healing up with light recovery while slowly wearing down Omega e Eocarcaria's health. Five. Ooh, that's a tie. Wow, no heat, heat eruption. Wow, Toka's been quite unlucky with the RNG. No heat eruption, no sand trap in, with um, Electrovasaurus and no plasma. Wow, quite unfortunate. Ooh, but a but a flare sword does activate, and that could be crucial for Toka as the Kakiradontosaurus goes down. And that and that will deny Chompstand a possible winning bonus point. As for Chompstand, at third we have the Triceratops. The normal Triceratops, the hidden gold rare Triceratops. That Thunder Bazooka could be could mean a defeat for Toka. Counter Blitz could also cause a problem. But, how far is the bar? Ooh, I think two more hits from the Eucarcaria, or two more times, and it'll be armor in time. Oh, but no armor if the Triceratops gets hits off, though. And that's a decent amount of damage. Damage done. <laughs> damage. Ooh, that's a tie. Wow, still no heat eruption. That's a huge surprise. Oh yeah! Well, uh, Toka's gonna die! Well, Toka's gonna lose as the Omega Armor Eocarcaria does put up the fight. But the Triceratops proving too strong in the end. And that's a surprise victory for Chompstar. Could have been a bonus point win, but it wasn't meant to be. But an impressive performance from Chompstan, defeating Toka in the first match of the... In the in his first match of this tournament. Right, we'll update the table and we'll continue. Alrighty then. 
Onto our final matchup for the first round of the matches, we have Team Africa going up against Nopi. And up first for Team Africa, we have an Aranosaurus. Wow, that's quite a decent attack for a dinosaur with only 1,000 strength. And all the attack is coming from its critical move, which contains two platoon crush. But in the blue corner for Nopi, we have Tank. We don't want to watch the animation, do we? And yes, we have the big bruiser tank, super defense type bullshit. And yeah, interesting thing about Nopi's dinosaur is it's definitely leaning to, more towards the defense this time, which could, which could be good, could be good. But he will have the disadvantage against this Aranosaurus. Well, tight disadvantage, anyway. Oh, why is the music playing? I don't know. Ah, well. Um, this could be a good, tough one, but with one of the, I'd say one of the group favourites losing the previous match in, in, in the form of Toka, could be a good chance for Nopi. Well, I don't know what to do, I don't know what, well, to put himself top, I'd say. The pants of Crystal Crusher gets triggered. Ooh, but Crystal Crusher is not activating, but... Recovery will be activated along with defense boost. Um, I don't know how much recovery will put this like, tank back, but we'll have to see. It. Oh, not too bad actually. Wow, that's actually pretty decent. Ooh, but a crit from the Uranosaurus, and yet another crit. Not doing too much damage to the tank, because I'll have defense boost. The Crystal Crusher there being triggered once again. Ooh, but Nopi once again getting off a recovery and a defense boost and not needing the Crystal Crusher. But since it is a rock earth move, it's a rock earth move, Tank will not do as much damage to the Uranosaurus. But yeah, pretty impressive from Nopi so far. Slowly but surely, wearing down the Aranosaurus's HP. <laughs> he could have done that last time, you know, that crystal crush. But, the move breaker there from the Aranosaurus, nullifying the threat. Nullifying the, that recovery. With two platoon crash being triggered as well. Ooh, but this Aranosaurus is not gonna get it off. And Tank is going to take out Aranosaurus in a very impressive display so far from Mopi. And up next for Team Africa, we have a Frobenator. This was a really tough choice between which dinosaur I wanted in second. I mean, it was between this guy, Delta Dromias, and Rugops. I mean, I ruled Rugops out because someone else has identified with Rugops. So it was basically between this guy and Delta Dromias. And since I had done Delta Dromias recently, I decided to use a Frobin. But can Team Africa pull this back? Because it's been a strong start from Nopi so far. I mean, if it were for the recovery, Tank's health would probably be about by this. So. Yeah, recovery definitely good on Tank. I mean, I didn't think it would be that effective with Tank, but Tank seems to have decent enough technique. Not to maximize the effects of recovery, but to get a decent amount of health back, so, yeah. And Tank proving it's worth here. Ooh, but the Aphrovenator does get off the head. But because the Aphrovenator's power is all in the crack, it won't do any damage. And Crystal Crusher does get triggered. Yeah, I think that's the big weakness of dinosaurs like the Aphrovenator, like T-Rex, like Allosaurus Astro. You know, all the power is in the crack, so... The other two moves don't do much damage. Whereas Tank is very balanced in terms of its damage over there. And it's showing because Tank, could he be about to give Nopi a 2 0 lead? Yes, he is. And the Frovenator, without putting up much of a fight, goes down. Which means Team Africa is down to their last dinosaur, the Super Majungasaurus. And yes, I know I had this guy in the team lap in Team Africa last time. Originally, I was going to go with Super Spider. But, you know, there's quite a few Spinos out there already, so I decided against that. But anyway, can this Super Majungasaurus pull it back to Team Africa? Or can Nopi continue to impress? 
tank couldn't, could it? It couldn't get a double bonus point win. Oh my god, tank, what are you doing? Oh my god, could no could no be actually do it? Okay, four. Oh, well, well, finally, Team Africa gets striking back against Tank with a crit. But wow, look at the little damage. Twice. Ooh, a crystal crusher from the Tank. That will lower the Majungasaurus' defenses. Which means you'll basically take more damage. One more from the Majungasaurus, and it will be awakening time. Ooh, the Majungasaurus does strike again. Get a hit back on Sidechain on Tank. But again, not too much damage. But a Cyclone does activate, and it is awakening time. Wow, no peace. Really close to two bonus points here. But... Oh, there's a Cyclone. And the Majungasaurus is going to take out Tank. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to take it out then, but no way. So, no beat will not be getting two bonus points if he wins this match. Well, it looks like he's going to win. Because up next, we have yet another anime dinosaur. This time, though, the Super Chop. Super Yogi. Gabu. Yes, this one not as defensive minded as the um, tank, but it does have. I think that's kind of it, isn't it? I'm assuming that's kind of it. Yeah. And it does have the light recovery as well, so... Interesting, though, these defensive strategies seem to be paying off handsomely so far against Team Africa. Okay, yeah, it is over. <laughs> wow. Just think, Nopi was so close to winning 3 now, but he will take a bonus point in this win. And that could be crucial going forward in the group stage. Very impressive by Nopi. He could be one to watch in this tournament. I'll update the table and we'll end the session. Well, look at that. After a bonus point win against Team Africa, Nopi tops Group D with Chompstan and Darius also enjoying nice wins. Whereas Team Africa, DBW's original gangsters and Toka Nightmare were having a nightmare. <laughs> and well, let's have a look at the next matchups in Group D. So it'll be six versus four. So it'll be Chompstan against Team Africa. Ooh. DBW's original gangsters against Nopi and Darius against Toga Nightmare. That's interesting. Like all the winner, neither of the work teams that are winning play against each other. They all play one of these three. So at the end of all this, we could actually see a very even Group D. Very interesting. Um, looking at the matches, well, definitely Nopi's definitely one to keep an eye on in this group. Um, I would probably expect Toka to get out of it as well. But after today's display, definitely Nopi. I think Nopi will get out of the group. I mean, four points already. like Another bonus point win and he might just guarantee his place already. Anyway, that's going to end the session here. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.